Final Fantasy 13 2. The story so far. I know your name. Noel Kreis. <laughs> You're gonna have to go through me! Can you fight? Whoa! They gave us a recap! That's pretty cool. Yeah, they tend to do that throughout the game, so I think that's pretty neat. You can, um, you can just, you know, if you can't remember what's going on, if you haven't played in a while, you can get a recap. That's a really nice feature. Well done, Final Fantasy 13 2. Well done. Very proud of you. That's very nice. Okay, and let's hurry up and load, please. Let's hurry up. There we go. Hello, everyone. This is BCS Buster, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy 13 2. Now, you know exactly what happened last time. We won some battles here, and, um, you know, we, um, we have Noel with us for the first time, so that's cool. All right. Uh, let's see. All right, well, let's get going. Yeah, so anytime you see one of uh, anybody with these talk bubbles above them, you can talk to them. others left to investigate the meteorite. Were you Jin Mackie with him? Yeah, I think so. He made us stay here because the path is covered in fallen trees. He said it was way too dangerous for us. Danger? Ha! I laugh in the face of danger. Okay, uh, is there anybody else we can talk to around here? Yeah, there's some more people we can talk to. Oh, hello, Miss Farron. How are the kids? You're worried about them, too? Don't worry. The kids in Lebro are safe and sound. They're inside that building by the shore. Thank goodness. Sarah, I didn't know you were such a worry ward. But it's understandable. I guess you've been through a lot, huh? Oh, well, I guess so. I wonder if that's really a meteorite. Yeah, and, and if you walk by these people, there's random conversation that you can have. So, there you are. Okay. Let's go over here and... Now to get out, we just we jump over the gate, and now we can talk to Noel. Curiosity killed the cat, you know. Okay, let's see. This is Met Lightning in Valhalla. We need to find out more. Uh, let's see. Did you really see lightning? You said you met my sister. What did she look like? What was she wearing? She was covered by silver armor decorated with feathers. She looked just like a goddess out of some fairy tale. <sighs> just like in my dream. Maybe you really did meet her. Maybe so. Okay, that's pretty cool. All right. I'm not trying to hide anything. Oh, well, that's good. You don't believe me? Yeah, so Noel's not really, you know, very talkative person, so. Okay, well, we're on the beach front now, so let's go. Mog clock. Oh, but it isn't like Flava Flav's clock. Uh, sure. Oh, I see. The green is an enemy enemy's removal and pre enum strike is possible. Okay. Yeah, so basically, whenever enemies come into contact with you, you either want to run into them, uh, or you either want to, you know, get away from them, or, um, or you, um, want to, um, run, either run away from them or try to encounter them right away. So. Now it says press X to initiate a battle when enemy is in front of you. So, basically, whenever we see an enemy, so where is one? There you go. Get near and push the X button, and you get a preemptive strike, which basically means, and all a preemptive strike really does is gives you a free. Um, well, it, it does a couple things. One, oops, no. Uh, uh, let's see. Your slide. Basically, what it does two things. One is it um, it increases their chain gauge um, by 20 points uh, and it also puts you in the uh, in the haste um, in the haste status which doubles your attack power and I think it also gives you a free chain gauge too which is nice or a full ATB gauge which is nice okay I didn't quite get the, uh, the max stars there but that's okay now we got a potion okay so that's how the mod clock works now, um, I want to try and, oh, magic. Yeah, so there's some magic, basically it talks about magic attacks. 
So now for some reason, regular people can cast magic, which is, I don't know if that's good or not. And there's Mog. Aw, little Moogle. Again, you can read what's going on. Um, you just pause this video, and there you are. And we've seen Mog for several Final Fantasies now. Okay, uh, I want to get my paradigms going. Can I change my paradigms? No, I don't think I can. No, I can't change my paradigms yet. Dang it. Okay, I'll be able to do a lot better once I can actually change my paradigms. But okay, so let's keep on going for right now. Uh, let's see, okay. So basically we just wanna make our way forward. Uh, you can also, if you push the circle, or the square button, you can look at the map. And there's not a whole lot we can do right now. So, let's just keep on moving. If you see all those blue dots, just, uh, oh, crap. Uh, let's see. There we go. Okay, I'll show you one more battle. Let's see, so there you go. So, if, if a, um, if a preemptive strike would, um, or if the, the plus 20 to the stagger gauge would not put them in stagger, it'll put them like basically one point away, and then you can instantly stagger them right after that. So, there you go. I think you also get an additional 2,000 battle points if you get a preemptive strike. So, now once I get better, uh, paradigms, it'll be easier for me to, um, wow. What's to, uh, home? to get five-star battles. What's going on, Noel? I, I, I just didn't think it would be that beautiful. Cocoon, I mean. It's exactly like in the legend. I can't believe I'm really here. Legend? What are you talking about? Hmm. Yeah, he's just, you know, he's seen it for the first time. Um, let's see, what do you mean in the legend? Yeah, that was kind of confusing. What do you mean by in the legend? The legend about Cocoon, and how it was held up in the sky by a crystal pillar. How oh, we all knew that story. Seems funny to call it a legend. It's only been three years. Huh. It's kind of interesting. Okay, so we want to start by heading, uh, let's see, we're going to go down here, down the pathway here, and, okay, wait, yeah, oh wait, can I, there we go, there we go, and we got some new enemies here, Spicicillion, yeah, now these things are pretty straightforward, they have pretty weak defense, so we should be able to five star them pretty easily. There we go. Got it. See, and, and when you get five stars, your red drop and item drops increase. So, there you go. Ooh, five potions. Sweet. That's pretty good. What? What's up, Mog? What are you kupo poing about? Hmm, I wonder what he's getting all excited about. Ooh, we get a map of New Bodom. Outstanding. So, here's the map so we can actually see what we're doing. Um. Uh, so there's the map, and you can push the square button by uh, the map. And the number of explored um, is important for much later in the game. So if you push this, yeah, so you can see all the uh, parts we have not uh, discovered yet um, in New Bodom. But we will. Don't worry, BCS Universe. There'll be plenty of time for us to do that. Okay. And... Okay. That's all we can do for right now, so let's keep going. Huh? Oh, there he is. There's Godot. It's like I knew he was around here somewhere. All right, let's go talk to him. Whenever you're in live there, I don't think you will uh, get into random battles. Either. Sarah, still in one piece? We're seeing lots of unfriendly critters around that meteorite. Uh oh, who's this? Oh, this is Noel. He helped Lebro and me out of a tight spot. Is that right? Hey, I'm Whoa. Gago. Okay, take it easy, big guy. I am not here to make trouble for anyone. <laughs> you better not. Anything happens to Sarah, and the boss will string your carcass out to dry. Hmm. The boss, eh? Uh, yeah, who's the boss? Wasn't that a TV show? Actually, wait a minute. Okay. So um, now in these, I forgot about this one. 
you can actually uh, do what's called a, a comical choice and will actually affect a reward that you get later. Now, the two normal choices are who's the boss and I'll keep Sarah safe and the two comical choices are I thought you were the boss and this boss sounds like a bully. Um, and you'll get some kind of funny dialogue. This boss sounds like a bully and this is actually really funny, I think. Sounds like a tool. I could deal with him. Huh? Who do you think you are? Uh, huh, huh, um, two, three, four. Huh, two, three, four. That's funny. And um, I don't know if I'm supposed to. I don't know if they say. Whoa! And the metal! Okay, no problems there. Okay, now we want to go. Um, right, we now we want to head up. Is this, way? Is this, is this correct? Yeah. We want to follow Noel and head up here. And I believe there's a chest. I, I, I hope so. Ah, there it is. Ugh. Where all these random battles come from. Escape route, please. It'll be fine. Okay. Ooh, we get a Libra scope, which is a very useful item um, later on. The Libra scope can reveal detailed sta status information on all enemies. So this is, there's only certain enemies we're going to want to use it on. You can see I've already gotten 20 potions and 5 Phoenix Downs from the random battles that I've won. So that's pretty cool. All right. Sarah, well, let's keep on moving. Too. It's dangerous. I'm trying to follow Godot and Noel there. Right. You and Mackie went too. following the path here. What's going Whoa. on here? What the oh, hell? Why is the screen getting all? I see it too. Jack, what's Pretty going sure on? It's no dream. Man, what the hell is Sarah having flashbacks again? Gosh, that's crazy. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's keep on going here. Okay. Now this one could, could get tricky. Come on, get that premium strike. No, nope. come back here. There we go. Okay. Just keep following the path. Okay, there we go. Now we're in the live trigger event. What do we got here? Oh, hey, Huge. Hey, there's hey. Huge. So, this is the famous Noel, huh? Yep. I guess news travels fast. The bro told me how you helped her out. I'm Huge. Nice to meet you. Hey, likewise. What's with the new style and threads, Sarah? Not exactly a dress up and hit the town kind of occasion. Hmm, what should we tell him? <laughs> the funny choice here is, you want to try them on. <laughs> <laughs> you want to try them on? They might look better on you. <laughs> I don't think so. Wouldn't want to show you up or anything. Okay, I better get going. See you guys later. Bye. Ah, the game's attempted humor. That's fine. Okay. And we got here a... Ooh, another Phoenix down. Very nice. Okay. Let's head over here. Maybe it's an illusion. Like some sort of mirage showing scenery in the distance. Perhaps. 
And another member of Nora. Weird. But how do these plants grow so fast? Uh, I don't get it. There must be pockets of unstable time or something. More meteorite phenomena. Oh, you got that right. Wow, look at this stuff. Ever since that rock came down, mm -hmm. we've been seeing all kinds of aberrations. Do you have any idea what's happening? <sighs> Not the slightest clue. Some spots seem to have sped forward centuries. But other parts haven't changed at all. <sighs> so, these areas are from different timelines. Uh, realities blending together. Like two ages overlap. Oh. That about right? Right! It's exactly like that! Wow, that's kind of creepy. Now, we can ask all these different questions here, but I want to know about that Moogle. Where did the Moogle come from? So, is the Moogle from another dimension, do you think? Hmm, well, I'd have to dismantle it to know for sure. What? Oh, cool. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I think he understood you. In any case, we can't go breaking Sarah's good luck charm. <laughs> That's really funny. Man, I can't believe this. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> okay. Well, let's go then. Uh, we uh, want to go down this path here. Okay. Now, before going down, let me take a second and make sure we're good to go. And then I'll be right back. Okay, we're all ready to go. So let's head down this way. And just kind of see what's going on over here. Cocoon is gone. Whoa. Oh crap. Uh that can't be good. Holy crap. Oh man. And now it's time for a boss battle. An effective battle strategy is to use the Oh yeah. Okay. Now we can finally use against uh, we can finally use the Sentinel command. Well we always could, but we'll talk about um, the best way to do this. Alright. And we'll, the Sentinel Command will be more useful later, but for right now, okay, let's go. We want to try and uh, get this guy staggered as quickly as we can. Okay, let's switch to our stop burn. We're going to get some sort of staggering effect going. Basically, you just want to be on the lookout for the command. Okay, when he goes to swipe, switch to twin shields. And then we reduce the damage, go back to slash and burn, and we're good. Um, the, the other good thing about when you when you shift paradigms to the Sentinel command is that um, it will the, the change happens instantly. So you know, like say, even if you do it like the second before the the second before um, it's about to hit you, um, you'll still be okay. God, I really wish I could double grab, but that's okay. Okay, now you staggered, switch over to the double commando roll and start going to town on this guy. Go, double trouble, and go. Yeah, so we're doing a we're doing a good amount of damage to this guy. This is actually going quite well. So this is good. There we go. And if he does it to me one more time, I may have to use a potion. But I bet I can finish this without having to use a potion. All right, got him. Woohoo! Yeah, that guy was not very hard at all. It's actually quite easy. Ooh, a power wristband. That's nice. That's right, we're sending that bastard packing. Gogmagog Fragment Alpha. Interesting. By resolving anomalies along the timeline, we'll obtain fragments. Oh, yeah. So, there's 160 little fragments we can uh, acquire throughout the game, and I'll be showing you in this walkthrough how to get all 160 of them as we go in the best order to do that. Okay, very good, very good. So let's check out fragments. And you can search by, you can search by um, category or by location. So here there are four fragments that we can find here in New Bodom, and they fall into three different categories: monster bits, fate recollection, and graviton core. I don't know what any of that means, but so if you go here, Gogmagog is a giant of the void beyond, and we'll learn more about the void beyond later. Huh? Oh, I see. Well, there you go. Very good. Okay, and that's it. All right, I believe 
go. Well, is it because of the meteorite? Uh, let's see. Okay, there we go. I believe if we go forward. Uh, I thought there was. Oh wait. I think there's another chest down here. Is there a chest down here? Uh, no, not yet. Okay. I thought there was a chest down there, but I guess there was. Okay. Here. Here's where the chest is. Okay. Very good. Well, we get 300 gil. Very nice. Uh, let's see. Now we want to go. We made it. Wait up. Okay. Now, so now we're gonna jump here. Now, before you jump down, turn to the left and make sure you get this sphere. Otherwise, you might miss it. And find ooh, Gasol greens. And we'll learn more about Gasol greens later as well. All right. Well, here's the meteorite. Let's check it out. that place. No, do you know? Yeah. Wait, what happened to Cocoon? It's not there. Well, you're looking at a different time. That's the world I come from. In my world, Cocoon doesn't exist. When I was born, the sky was already empty. <sighs> Tell me, how many years has it been since Ragnarok appeared and Cocoon fell? Well, it's 3 AF, so that was three years ago. For me, all that happened 700 years in the past. I was born and raised in another time, 700 years in the future. Yes, I knew it. I knew you weren't from this world. I'm the last of humanity. Hey! Uh-oh. I can take you there. We can find lightning together. I know she wants to see you. You're full of it! Yeah, that's impossible. Lightning's gone, man. Uh-oh. Goodell. <sighs> Noel, do you know where my sister is? Come with me. <sighs> Whoa! What's happening? Noel, what are you doing? He's destroying the meteorite. You see? It's a time gate. What do you mean? Wow. Time gate. What the? It's like a portal. Lightning is in a place called Valhalla. She's waiting on the other side. I couldn't turn my eyes away. I knew the answer lay beyond that gate. The answer to my doubts and dreams. On the broad plain beneath Cocoon, my sister once celebrated my marriage to Snow. I remember her smile like it was yesterday. But sometime when I wasn't looking, she disappeared. She was gone as if she'd never been there in the first place. Lightning, are you out there? Did I dream that day on Pulse, or did it really happen? Noel says he can find you, but is he telling the truth? Wow. Now we're starting to get Noel's into time travel. was a terrible place where Cocoon did not exist. He had traveled back in time to change that bleak future. Or so he told us. Listen, when different eras overlap, all kinds of crazy stuff happens. Objects from different times get mixed up. If you want to open a gate and travel through time, you have to find one of those objects. They're called artifacts. Uh, artifacts? The keys to the future. Hmm. They're anachronisms, relics of a different world. Basically, things that don't belong in your time. If we can find one, we might be able to use it to open the gate. Then we could cross time and travel to Lightning's world. Hmm. Could Noel be telling the truth? Beyond that gate, in a place called Valhalla, is Lightning alive and waiting for me? Can I dare to hope again, after all this time? Oh, how I want to believe. I want my sister back. Wow. I'm starting to get into gates. By the way, they keep spelling artifact wrong. <laughs> I mean, that's really how it's supposed to go, but I just think it's funny. The first time I played this, I was like, so they can't spell artifact. The night the meteorite fell. We all had a lot to think about. I wonder if anyone slept. Good morning. 
Who's she saying good morning to? Okay, and now we can access Party Paradigms and the Crystarium. Yeah, so we can ba now basically this is how you level up in the game, and um, as well as get new battle plans, put them together. Okay, and now we'll head outside when we're ready. Okay. Let's, let's also take this chest just to make sure. So I wait for the text. Now don't start whining. You need to take care of things while he was gone. Okay. Now, if you open this box here, we get a golden flower, a live trigger reward. Does it give a primer on that? No. Okay. So basically, those little uh, treasure boxes um, are live trigger rewards. And based on what you say, will depend on what you get there. So, okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and stop here for right now. Next time, we'll talk about developing the Crystarium, as well as getting our party uh, paradigms all ready to go. But what awaits us as we go forward? Will we actually be able to meet up with Lightning? You're going to have to wait until next time to find out. Till then, this is BCS Buster signing off. Don't forget to like me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter at BCS Buster LP. Please check out my donations page. And as always, take care, y'all.